this is Liz Jones with Fully Devoted. I'm coming to you today um, from my house on Palm Sunday with just a quick word of encouragement. Um, the uh, scripture reference that we're going to be looking at today is found in Matthew 21 verses 1 through 9. And I'll be reading from the CSB version, which is the Christian Standard Bible. When they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus then sent two disciples, telling them, Go into the village ahead of you. At once you will find a donkey there tied with her colt. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. Verse 4. This took place so that what was spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. Tell daughter Zion, see your king is coming to you, gentle and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. <clears throat> the disciples went and did as Jesus directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and they laid their clothes on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their clothes on the road. Others were cutting branches from the trees and spreading them on the road. Then the crowds who went ahead of him and those who followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. People were waving palm branches and shouting Hosanna. Hosanna means come save us now. Just think for a moment how this made Jesus feel. Remember that he was fully God and fully man, which means that Jesus had feelings. Scripture tells us in Hebrews 4.15, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way that we are, yet without sin. Imagine the scene with me. We see him riding on a colt, greenery waving in the air, people's um, outer garments, their jackets laying on the ground. The people are shouting, come, save us now. I can just imagine that there were tears streaming down his face as he enjoys for just a moment the worship of the people that he loves. He has already come to save you. He's already paid the price and he invites you just as he does in Matthew 21 verses 14 through 15. He welcomes the blind, the lame, and the children, which in that time were considered the least of these to come. He healed them and confirmed a place for them. Imagine yourself there, caught up in the crowd. They're all waving branches and shouting Hosanna, and you think to yourself, I'll join them. You wave branches in the air, and you shout at the top of your lungs. Then you see his face, wet with tears. <clears throat> the look of love that he has for you touches you deeply. And for the first time in your entire life, you feel accepted and loved. You cried, Hosanna, save me, not knowing what you were really asking. But now you do. Today is Palm Sunday. It's the beginning of Passion Week. It is the beginning of the end. It's the last, the final seven days of Jesus' earthly ministry. For just a few days, for in just a few days, the very people who sang Hosanna, come save us, they'll be shouting crucify him. They would choose a murderer, Barabbas, over the life giver. They would choose to ignore the way that he loved him, the way that he healed them and set them free. They would forget the beauty of his presence. 
and they would say, we don't want you anymore. Jesus knew all of this would happen, and yet he chose to take on all of it. What I want you to think about today, and what I want each of us to do is to posture our hearts. I want us to see Jesus in a new light, to see him as the Son of God, full of majesty, and also as a human being full of feelings and emotions. Whatever you're going through, he knows. He is full of compassion and love for you. He welcomes you now as he welcomed them then. If you are struggling to see hope in a hopeless situation, he welcomed the blind. If you are weary and burdened, you feel like you can't do it anymore, he healed the lame. Do you feel helpless like a small child, totally dependent on someone who may not understand your needs? He loved the children. Invite him into your mess today. As he promises he will never leave you nor forsake you. Matthew 9:36 says, When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. He has compassion. He is full of it. He is full of empathy. He understands everything that you and I are going through. And he loves us. He loves you so much that he died to set you free. This week, my challenge is for you to posture your heart, to position yourself in a way that you see him differently than you ever have. That you ask him, God, I want to know you more. I want to know you intimately. And I want to fall in love with the one who loved me first. Let me pray for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you for the gift of your son. God, I thank you that you sent your only son to come to dwell among us, to be a part of us, to know what we go through, to endure and to experience everything that we've experienced. Father, for those who feel alone, who feel abandoned or isolated, I ask you to reveal yourself, God, in a very tangible way. Show them that you are here. You are right here. And your love for them has never wavered. You say that you love us with an unfailing love. And Father, I thank you for that. No matter what we do, no matter how far we've gone or what we've done, we can always come running back to you. Hosanna, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. God, we love you. And we thank you for being the God who came and the God who is coming again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, if you prayed that prayer and you would like um, to be encouraged or you need prayer, would you message Deanne and I at fullydevotedld at gmail.com. You can visit us on our Facebook page at Fully Devoted Ministry or um, you can go to our website at fullydevoted.net. Um, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to pray for you. We'd love to encourage you. And um, Deanne and I have been discussing going through um, Passion Week this next week. So today will be the kickoff for that. And we will um, start from this point forward going through the account of Jesus' last few days. Um, I am overwhelmed with gratitude 
and my prayer is that you will be too as you journey with us through the last few days of Jesus' life that you um, possibly see him as you never have before and that he speaks to your heart and you your affections for him are stirred that you love him more after this week than you ever have before. We love you.